All right. How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Junior, and welcome back to the Daily Digital. Uh, today is the 15th of July, July 15th, 2022. And today we have just a few things to go over and talk to you about. The first thing is just going to be all about the Metaverse Summit that is currently taking place in Paris, France. The second thing is just going to be about gaming inside of AR, which is a little bit different from gaming inside of VR. Uh, the third thing is going to be all about virtual reality try-ons. So just trying on different um, items inside the Metaverse. And then also the last thing is going to be about a little ring that allow you to take control over your augmented reality space while you're still in the physical world. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so if you haven't heard yet, there is a Metaverse Summit that is coming on July 16th to the 17th it is currently in Paris and as you can see here it essentially is already starting I'm assuming because of the different time zones um, today is the 15th for me so um, I want to say that it currently I mean let's see here it's gonna be a thousand plus attendees a hundred plus speakers 30 exhibits um, it is currently actually going on also inside the metaverse which I want to show you here as well, but I just want to kind of go through and uh, just let you know a little bit about it. So it's just going to be uh, a conference, a uh, two day conference event hosts a wide variety of activities, including talks and workshops by top entrepreneurs and experts. The exhibition hall will host companies, startup and project showcase an occasion to network and find business opportunity. Investor lounge and startup pitch investors will have the opportunity to meet the winning projects of metaverse startup competition occasion to discover metaverse related startup and talent uh, networking party during the conference we will have dedicated networking spaces uh, the speakers sponsors and VIP ticket holders will have access to the exclusive immersive party in um, Atelier de Lumiere uh, Four metaverse tracks the first one being social and digital identity Explore UGC focus social worlds users and businesses can explore create socialize and participate in wide variety of experiences Gaming and interactivity persistent real-time connections in immersive digital and often three-dimensional simulations Environments and technologies use the ex access interact with the metaverse web 3 and decentralization That's the first time I saw decentralization spell with an S um, Digital ownership and how to create store sale protect and manage digital assets such as virtual goods and crypto uh, and currencies which is probably cryptocurrency as connected to user data and identity mixed reality and virtual world the merging of uh, the merging of real and virtual worlds to produce new environments and visualizations physical and digital coexist and interact in real time including AR VR and all format of virtual worlds alrighty so this is going to be, a, in my opinion, an exciting event. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to make it this year. Hopefully, it's a yearly event. Uh, if you are able to make it or if you're in Paris, uh, if you are free to just fly out to Paris recently, um, please definitely do check it out and let me know how it is. I will be waiting on that for sure. Uh, there's a couple of sponsors for this, Sandbox being one. Um, there's a couple of other ones I recognize here. Caduceus, uh, Over Lighthouse, Metaverse, um, Blockchain DAO, Synchron Synchrony. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of different sponsors out here. Uh, partners, Art and Experience. Um, so, one thing about this Metaverse um, Summit is this really going to be all about art and technology. Uh, and when I say art, I mean like all forms of art, design, creation, stuff like that. Uh, music is considered an art and stuff like that as well. So I would definitely look into this if you are an artist. Um, and one way that you can actually be a part of this if you can't make it to uh, Paris is by going over here to Decentraland. Decentraland actually has, and if I, let me see if I can go back. Um, let me just type in, uh, what did I type in last time? Summit.
But yeah, so as you can see here, they have um, tomorrow the 16th Metaverse Summit, Summit in Paris, and then also July 17th Metaverse Summit in Paris as well. You have the two, and okay, yeah, so mine is saying it's seven hours. So I'll probably be back awake in about seven hours so that I can actually view this. Um, but what it is is that they are inside Decentraland, the Metaverse Decentraland, which if you don't know what Decentraland is, you don't actually have to have a um, land in Decentraland or, or like a extensive account or computer for that uh, high, high power computer. You can actually just go to Decentraland on your laptop. Uh, I don't, I never actually tried on my phone, but you can go on there as well. And then all you do is create a quick account pick a little avatar and then you're good to go um, so I'm assuming they probably have some sort of link into all that as well which is what I would probably be doing is actually trying to get into here via the central land uh, just so I can you know interact with some of the other people that are interested in the space and also uh, view some of what the speakers have to say um, so again if you are into trying to learn more about metaverse uh, learn more about artwork and stuff like that as well I would definitely recommend checking out Decentraland and trying to get yourself inside uh, of that event. I believe the summit will be free inside Decentraland, but that's we'll have to wait and see about that. All right, so the next thing here is about gaming. So if you are a gamer and you are into AR technology, mixed reality, uh, Steam, the company Steam, now is putting games inside in reels, augmented reality glasses this was first mentioned june 15 2022 so i'm not sure if this has actually been done yet uh but if you uh already have an real augmented reality glass so that's it's just a company called in and they make you know reality glasses augmented reality glasses uh so now you can actually play video games in them currently i believe only xbox uh microsoft xbox users could do that uh play games on those augmented reality but what if you don't have an xbox account Microsoft account, then yeah, I guess you can't play game. Well, that's no longer the case here with Unreal because they are now uh, adding this to their, I guess, list of things to do on that. Uh, so the Chinese company has released the beta version of Steam on Unreal, which gives users a way to stream games from their PC to their AR eyewear. Um, Unreal admits, admits that installing the beta release will require a bit of effort during the setup process and the current version is not optimized for all Steam games just yet. But it will work both on the Unreal Lite and the Unreal Air though and it already supports some titles uh, like the entire Halo series. Um, so again if you're really big into gaming and big into AR as well. This will be something you want to look into because if you don't have an Unreal device already and you've been looking to get into one, uh, this may be a deciding factor here because uh, playing games and being inside this augmented reality space um, is one of the things that makes you know all of this talk technology really really cool. Alrighty, so another thing that makes all of this technology really really cool is trying on stuff. So clothing, jewelry, and all that stuff. I think a couple of episodes ago, I mentioned about uh, how some companies are allowing people to do this. Um, but I have a company here that I just wanted to kind of show you guys that actually allows you to do it in real time uh, without needing anything else except for your laptop or your cell phone. Uh, and this company is called Fashion Eyewear. And again, there's probably a million and one other companies that actually allow you to do this on their website. Uh, I'll make sure I try to locate all of them and share them with you as well. Uh, this is just one that I found, ran into just recently, um, where they have an actual section for virtual try-on eyewear. And I believe they teamed up with a lot of these big name um, luxury brands. So Prada, Tom Ford, uh, Ray-Ban. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try out some Ray-Bans. Um, Tiffany, Ralph Lauren, Versace, Prada, Bulgari, Burberry. I mean, all of these different companies, Dior, Gucci, and all that stuff, uh, they sell these directly on their website, it looks like. Uh, I haven't bought anything from here before, so I'm not exactly sure. But what you can actually do, I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some Ray-Bans. Boom. And what you can actually do is come down here and do a virtual try-on.
So let that sync up here real quick. Uh, of course you have to give it access to, of course you have to give it access to your camera um, or else this, you know, exactly wouldn't work. Uh, hit okay, let me move this around a little bit and there we go. So now I got my fresh pair of Ray-Bans on. As you can see, it fits perfectly on my head, perfectly on my face. Um, the technology allows me to turn my head I actually turn it pretty slowly to make sure it doesn't fall off. I'm kind of scared. But no, I mean, if I go a little bit faster, oh, there you go. I was going to say, if I go a little bit faster, I'm assuming as long as I stay within the camera, I mean, it does pretty well. Um, tilt my head this way. And I mean, they even got the side piece there. Get my, uh, Dwayne Johnson rock on there. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, I think this is actually pretty cool. I, I myself would actually use this. This is really going to bring a whole new, brand new shopping experience to um, everybody, and I mean everybody. People are no longer just going to, you know, go to the store and try and figure out with, whether they like an item or not, uh, which is one really big thing with trying on clothes, but trying on shoes, just making sure that it fits. Is that people actually want to know that it actually does fit um, so one way you can actually do that is by going to a company like this uh, that has this all the way set up already and let me see I mean I like some I like some I'm not gonna go that far I just want to do like some regular glasses now like maybe something like this here that doesn't look bad all of our peoples um, so yeah how the whole e-commerce platform the whole uh, virtual reality world will be a whole bunch different now because of stuff like this so I can definitely see this being a game changer okay then I can definitely see this being a game changer um, for a lot of companies if they go ahead and implement this onto their website which is um whoops Um, which actually another thing I want to make sure that I mentioned to you guys, which I saw Shopify. Uh, if you haven't heard of Shopify before, they are just a huge e-commerce platform that allows people to sell stuff on their own website through their platform. Um, but Shopify will actually be integrating some of this AR technology, try on technology uh, onto their website as well. So uh, it's going to be, uh oh, <laughs> so that doesn't work out well. Um, but it's going to be pretty interesting with all of that. Um, let me guys let me know what you guys think about some of this um, uh, AR technology here in which you can actually try on you know different items and stuff like that alrighty uh, and then the last thing that I want to mention to you guys here would be a thing called the ring and so I'm assuming so this article or this video came out back in 2018 right and then I read an article on it about how some students at some school actually created this back in 2018. And then from there, I ran into this thing called the Finch Ring, which is essentially the same thing. So I'm not sure if the same students actually went on and created a company around it or what have you. Maybe the idea got stolen, but I just wanted to go ahead and play this video real quick. So as you can see here, um, they're actually controlling augmented reality stuff with their fingers um, they have it looks like a calendar um, they have train station the time the train is coming and stuff like that um, scroll and augmented reality designer Nat Martin so I'm gonna have to research his name Nat Martin see what he's been up to um, I mean, he's got a counter on there. He has breakfast with Alice at some time. And you can control all this in virtual reality. Um, you can look at architecture and stuff like that as well just by using this ring, as you can see. Organize the schedule. Change music. Okay, so this is music he's changing here. So what this actually kind of reminds me of is like the Apple Watch. So in an Apple Watch, you can, you know, tap it and do a whole bunch of stuff. But you actually have to do it by looking down at it and by going ahead and um, swiping through with one hand while you have the other hand, you know, up and stuff like that. Now this kind of just removes that aspect of having to do that by having everything 
uh, directly on your finger and be able to control different things that are happening in this augmented reality space uh, that we all are in. But, you know, with that, you would have to definitely have a pair of AR glasses just so you can kind of see some of those things that are actually happening. Um, and as you can see here, this is the case of smart rings, which could become increasingly useful devices thanks to partnerships like the one announced between Finch Technologies and AR glasses maker Enreal. So Enreal, again, has exploded in the past couple of years uh, with their technology. Uh, if I'm going to get into AR, uh, I'm definitely going to be looking into Enreal as being one of the devices or glasses that I end up getting myself. Um, so the two companies have jumped forces to develop a new ring-like wearable for controlling virtual and augmented reality devices using gestures. Um, it actually provides you with six degrees of freedom versus three degrees of freedom. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff here, uh, which again, you can kind of read through yourself. But as I said, with this new technology, it's going to be quite interesting what actually happens with it. Uh, I myself is pretty pretty excited for it all. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a Finch ring or anything like that, um, just so I can <laughs> point and point and click pretty much, um, but definitely the augmented reality glasses, uh, integrating that with the Steam games and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not like a heavy gamer or whatever, but I do like to enjoy myself a little bit here and there. So yeah, so we'll see. I mean, uh, you guys let me know what you guys think inside of the comments. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on all my social media handles as well. Um, check out the links in the description. And until next time, you guys take it easy.